Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make my favourite spiced orange hot chocolate. I have a little mug here and I love this because it's so much better than the ones that you can buy in coffee shops because it's made with real chocolate and real spices. It's super easy to make and really quick and I hope you guys enjoy it. So first up for the ingredients, to make one mug of my spiced orange hot chocolate you're going to need some milk. I'm using semi-skimmed organic milk but you can choose whatever you want, a non-dairy option or skimmed full fat. You're also going to need some chocolate, I'm using dairy milk, a large orange, and some nutmeg. I'm using whole nutmeg but ground is also fine, some cloves, and some cinnamon sticks. Again, you can use ground but I prefer to use the cinnamon sticks, and some cardamom pods. You're also going to need a pan, preferably a milk pan so it won't overheat your milk, a whisk, a grater, a sieve, and your favourite Christmas mug. This one is from my friend's company, Susan Rose China, and it's extra special because you can customise it with your name. Optional extras for the top if you want to use them, squirty cream and marshmallows, of course. So the first thing you need to do is to put three quarters of a mug full of milk into your pan and start to heat it up. You also want to add your spices now, so I'm putting in one cinnamon stick, three cardamom pods, which I'm actually crushing between my fingers as I put them in so that the flavour escapes more. I also like to put in three cloves, and then finally on the spice front, grate in a little bit of nutmeg using the finer side of my grater. Make sure if you are making two mugs or four mugs or whatever, you just times the recipe by however many mugs you're making to make sure that you have the right level of spice. Next, to get the orange flavour, you want to grate in the peel of half an orange using the finer side of your grater. And then you want to whisk up the mixture and wait for the milk to heat up. Once it starts to steam, grate in your chocolate. I use six squares of chocolate per mug, but you can change it to taste. Grating will help it melt more quickly, but if any breaks off, or if you can't grate the last piece in, put it in whole and it will still melt. Then you want to continue whisking until all of the chocolate is melted and you'll be left with something that looks like this. Next, take your sieve, put it on top of your mug and catch the spices that are still in your mixture as you pour your hot chocolate into your mug. Top it off with whipped cream, a few marshmallows, and then you can finish it off with a little bit of grated nutmeg and some extra orange peel. And that's how you make the most delicious, festive, spiced orange hot chocolate. If you want to make some yummy gingerbread to go with your hot chocolate, make sure you check out my video from our cooking series. I'll put a link below, but we basically make a gingerbread house and some edible gifts, which are perfect for having with your hot chocolate. So that's it for this video, I really hope you guys liked it. If you do make this at home, please tweet me a picture because I would love to see your recreation. And I will see you again with a brand new video on Monday. I hope you're all having an amazing December. Also, if you guys aren't subscribed to my vlog channel, you might not have seen that I'm doing Vlogmas. I'm vlogging every day up until Christmas. So if you want to see what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life, then go and check that out. And I will see you again on Monday with a brand new video. Bye guys. Hey guys, so today I'm back with a haul video for you all and today's haul is a haul of contradictions because whilst it's all winter stuff, half of it is warm, cosy, fun.